Hello Cygnus class. You see that we've come down to Drew's Pond for a walk and Guinness is having a little bit of a dip because it's a hot day today. We're doing a bit of exercise before we go home and do some learning because exercise is really good not only for your body getting fit and keeping healthy but it's also good for your learning because it gets that thinking muscle working as well. So I shall see you all later when we start our next bit of learning. Bye! If you listen very quietly, you can hear the birds chirping all around us. I'm going on a bug hunt. Let's see what we can find. I have spotted something on a leaf right down here. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. What have I found? Is that a shell? And it moves very slowly. That's right, it's a snail. I wonder if anyone can tell me what the body of a snail is called. It's called a foot. That's a bit of a funny name for a snail's body, isn't it? Now, this little creature has a body a bit like a snail, but it's not got a shell. What do you think this one is? It looks as though it's eating the yellow buttercup. It's called a slug. A slug. Now, on my walk, I've been collecting sticks of different sizes. I've got some short ones and some longer ones. I'm going to have a go at trying to make some shapes. First shape I'm going to make is a triangle. Can you tell me how many sides a triangle has? That's right, it has one, two, three. Let's see if we can put them into a triangle shape. So I'm going to do one, two, one down the bottom. So it's got one, two, three sides. What are these called? And how many does a triangle have? They're called corners. And a triangle has three sides and three corners. Now, I'm going to have a go at making a square. How many sides does a square have? Let me just have a little look to see if I can change it into a square. I'm going to move. The sticks. And I'm going to put one up there and I'm going to use another one, another short one. Because what I know about squares is that all the sides have to be the same length. So a side has, a square has four sides and four corners. The last shape I'm going to make is a rectangle. I know a rectangle has four sides, but what is different to a rectangle than a square? That's right. A square has four sides the same size, but a rectangle has, let me just see, a rectangle has two long sides and two short sides. Does it still have four corners? Yes, it does. I wonder if when you're on your walk, you can make any other shapes out of sticks. This time we're going to order the sticks by size. You can start at the longest or you can start at the shortest. I'm going to start with the shortest stick. Tell me when to stop when you see the shortest stick. Is that the shortest? Yes it is. I'm going to move that over here. What goes next do you think? I'm going to stop this one. Now, I know that this one is the longest, so the next one is this one. 
and then we've got the longest that goes at the end. So we've got shortest and we've got longest. Now I've done it with four sticks but I bet that you could do it with a lot more sticks. Then you could start at the longest or you could start at the shortest. Hello Guinness. You can see that I've found some dandelions. Now I have picked these dandelions and they're the only thing that I would pick, the only flower I would pick because they're classed as a bit of a weed by gardeners but you can only pick things if you're out with an adult and you know that you have permission to do so or the adult knows that it's safe to do. So I have got, let's do some clever counting, I have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten dandelions all together. Let's count back from ten. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I am going to find different ways of making 10. So I am going to get one, two, three, four, five in one group and one, two, three, four, five in another group. And I know that five and five are 10 because I have not changed the number of the dandelions that I have. I am going to change over. I'm still keeping 10 dandelions all together but I have got one, two, three, four, five, six dandelions and one, two, three, four dandelions and six and four make ten. Can you find lots of different ways of making ten? These are our bonds to ten. I found some leaves. I found some brown leaves and some green leaves and we're going to be trying to do some adding. Now when we're adding, does the number get bigger or does it get smaller? That's right, when we're adding, the number is getting bigger. When it's all together, the number gets bigger. So I am going to have one, two, three, four brown leaves, and one, two, three green leaves. How many leaves have I got all together? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All together I have seven leaves. If I wanted to be very clever, I could put, make some sticks. If you take a stick, can you see what I've done? What have I made? I've made a cross. I've made an adding or an addition sign. This time, I'm going to put another brown leaf there. And I shall put another green leaf there. So we've got one, two, three, four, five brown leaves. And one, two, three, four green leaves. How many leaves are there all together? There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All together, there are nine leaves. I've got some green leaves and we're going to do some taking away or subtraction. Now when we're taking away, does the number get bigger or does it get smaller? This is what we are going to find out. So I am starting off with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight green leaves. And I'm going to take away one green leaf. How many green leaves am I left with? I'm left with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So eight take away one is seven. Another way of saying it is one less than eight is seven. I'm going to put back my green leaf and this time we're going to have a go at taking three away. We've got one, two, three. How many green leaves are left? There is one two, three, four, five. So eight take away three is five. Three less than eight is five. The number is getting smaller. I spy with my little eye something beginning with t, t, t. Can you see what it is? Yes, it is a 
I spy with my little eye something beginning with B. 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 Buttercups. I spy with my little eye something beginning with mmm. Nettles. I spy with my little eye something beginning with D. D. Dog. You could play I spy with your mummy or daddy or, or both or your family when you come for a walk. Let's see how difficult you can find the words to be. Can you think of a really tricky word that will catch your mummy and daddy out? Oh, I was just filming a dragonfly just then. These are very special flowers. Although they're purple, they're actually called bluebells and they're found in shady, wooded areas. And they usually come out at the end of April and in May. And they're very delicate. And these are flowers that you definitely must not be picking on the walk because they're getting rarer and rarer, which means there aren't many of them around anymore. Guinness and I have come to the end of our walk just about. I hope you've enjoyed coming on our walk with us and have found lots of learning that you can be doing with your mummies and daddies as well. You can be doing number work, you can be doing bug hunting, you can be doing I spy with phonics. See you soon, everyone. Bye.